What's up, Dunk? Wanted to get you a cool little video here of Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bane with his with his muzzle on. <laughs> um, I've actually got him out with these two girls, uh, Jazzy and Ryder. Come on, good Zam, good boy. So I've just got him foosing. Foos, foos, good. And I'm not allowing him to really engage with them at first. Um, a little bit of, oh, come on, I know, he doesn't like the muzzle. Foos, buddy. Good. A little bit of kind of casual sniffing isn't bad, but I'm not going to let them linger too long. And, come on, buddy. Foos. Good boy. So I really just want him understanding, even though these dogs are out, that does not mean that you can disengage from me, and that does not mean that obedience doesn't apply. Obedience applies all the time, so... He's doing super, super good. These these two are both mine. Come here, Sam. Good boy. Foos. I know he's all pouty because he's in the muzzle, but <laughs> he's still getting used to that. Foos. Good, good boy. But any sort of fixation, any sort of um, interest that goes unchecked for too long, Foos. Good. Um, leads to an in a building of intensity with him, a building of adrenaline. Foos. Good. And so even though I'm not super worried about him with these dogs right now, um, I'm still going to keep him walking, <laughs> keep him moving, because he's never really been in a scenario where there's other dogs out with him and he's had to be under this much control. Sam, come. Come. Good. Good boy. Good, buddy. So right there where he didn't quite come right away. Oh, no, no, good boy. Come, come, come. Sam, come. Good, good boy. And there where he didn't want to come right away either. Sam, come. Good, good job. Because he's like, no, I have to check her out. I have to check her out. I took I took that control away from him and said, no, you have to listen to me, dude. And that's really, really hard for him. He's like, no, I need to control the situation. Sam, come. Good boy. And so in those last two, when I recalled him away from Ryder there, um, I used the e-collar. Boos. Good, good boy. And got him to refocus on me instead of sitting there and letting that intensity build between them. Come on, boos. Now she's a female, and she's pretty passive. She does not care. She wants to sniff his butt a little bit. Boos. Good. But other than that, like, she's very, like, I don't really care. She doesn't really... She's very neutral with dogs, so you can see she's just like, la di da I don't care. Zam, come. Good. And you see that intensity from him when he gets fixated like that. That's the kind of stuff that I want to teach him that's not okay. It's, you have to focus on me. You don't get to worry about these crazy girls. <laughs> Jessie's, Jessie is a dog that I co-own. Come, Zam. Good. So I, she, we actually just bred her. She, my puppy that I have was from her litter, so... She's a good girl. She's an awesome working dog, too. But, um, see that fixation, Zam? Come. Good. Yeah, it's a boy. So when I do that recall, it's called our step back recall. And that is, oh, come. Good. A really, really awesome tool for keeping him calm. Come. 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 Good. Good boy. Calling him away from that distraction. Getting him nice and focused. I know, you don't get to throw a tantrum over the muzzle. Come on good boy anyway like i was gonna say even though he would probably be fine with these dogs because they're both pretty soft females if he wanted to come up and be like hey i'm in charge nope nope like they would probably let him is what i'm saying but i don't want to let him make that decision i'm in charge not any of these dogs nobody in the yard except me and so sam plucks good oh i know don't do that nope plucks good i know the muzzle is hard Good boy. Anyway, really, really good stuff from him. Um, Ryder's going to come on by, and he's a lot more casual about it now. When he's in a plot, that's so a very, very vulnerable position. Oh, plots. Plots. Good. And it's very hard for him to stay there. Good girl. Ryder, plots. Oh, the slowest. Good. Sam, come. Come. Good. Don't want to let that fixation build right there, Zam. Plutz. Good. Good job, buddy. So at this point, I'm seeing that, you know, the muzzle isn't super necessary for him in this scenario because... Jazzy, come here. Stop chewing on sticks. Jazzy, here. Good girl. Jazzy, Plutz. Good girl. Because he's... Oh, Plutz. Good boy. Good boy. I don't think he's going to, you know, go after them or anything like that. 
but um, I'm keeping it on just for safety so he knows that he absolutely cannot. And this is the first step I want to take. Sam, come. Good boy. Very nice. Good, because Jesse's being stupid. Zam, plutz. Good man. Good job, Zamboni. Jesse, plutz. Do you stay on the ground? Good girl. Anyway, hope this is kind of fun for you to watch. I know he looks a little uncomfortable, but it's very uncomfortable for him to be paying attention to me and doing obedience around dogs that are just hanging out. So, yeah, this is a really, really good step for him. Good boy, just being able to chill with other dogs in the same area um, is a really, really good way to, to get him kind of rehabbed from this. Huh, guys? Jazzy? Okay. Good. Good dogs. And even for him to hold a plot like that when both of them getting up, really, really good stuff. Good job, Zambo. You can see he's, he's a little nervous. His tongue's flicking there. He's getting excited. Ryder. Jazzy. Good. Plots. Good, good boy. So when he broke it there, I'm tapping on the e-collar. He's working a little bit higher. He's working on a 28 because there's a different scenario. There's dogs around. It's hard. He's in a muzzle. He's, he's, his adrenaline is higher because he's out with dogs. So yeah, that's why he's working a little bit higher there. So I would say the dog chooses the level. Zam, come, come. Good boy, good. Good man, Zam plus. Good, good job, big guy. So every interaction like this that he has around dogs is going to teach him more of how to be around dogs um, in general. So we kind of say that he's got to rack up good experiences in his bank, in his mental bank. Um, a lot of times the experiences that you've had with him have been um, not so great experiences where he gets really fixated and you have to, you know, either pull him away or he starts reacting. Um, he's plots. Whereas he hasn't had a lot of calm experiences like this. Jazzy, don't eat rabbit poop. Oh, they're gross. Jazzy, Ryder, come here. Come here. Good girls. Good girl, right there. Anyway, I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this. Ryder, good, but he's doing really good. Plots, I know he's making some mistakes here, but that's totally okay. He's working through a lot of stress right now, which is helpful. Okay. <laughs> Ryder, Plots. Good girl. Plutz, Zam, plutz, plutz, plutz. Good boy. Good. Good dogs. Anyway, these two pretty shepherds are doing really well. So, hope you're not missing this big guy too much. Jizzy, just, and then the black one is being weird over in the corner by herself. So, good job, guys.